Hello and welcome to this session on the training about Plaxis Automation Basics, in which I will provide information about the Plaxis stage construction and phases. The topics for the session are identifying the differences between structures and stage construction, quick view on how to access stage construction user features, and a small Python script example demonstrating changes in stage construction. In Plaxis, we offer a full workflow when creating a geotechnical model. One starts at defining the soil conditions, adds structures, generates a finite element mesh, adds or adjusts the flow conditions while creating the stage construction phases. Typically, you would want to change a single value, which is an intrinsic property of an object for a specific phase. This can be done in stage construction. Let's see the example of a line load that we added in structures mode as a single object. The idea is to change the value of the vertical load component in stage construction. When adding the line load in structures, you can already change the value for the vertical component. By changing the value in the graphical user interface GUI to minus 15, the Plaxis command line reports it directly. The command is set line one dot line load dot qy start minus 15. Below the Plaxis command shown here, you can see the Python equivalent. When we move to stage construction, we see that by following the same steps in GUI, the Plaxis command line reports an extra part, which is the phase reference, here phase 1. This makes sense, as we are changing the value of the line load we selected for a specific phase to be minus 15. Notice that the equivalent command in Python requires that you add the phase object within square brackets, following the intrinsic property we want to change. For the following slides, I will only refer to the Python commands used. In Plaxis, when our model is in stage construction, every item is a staged user feature, which means that its configuration corresponds to a specific phase. The structure of the command when you want to change a value per phase is the following user feature dot user feature dot IP phase reference. Therefore, Coming back to the example for the vertical line load value, the Python command is as we already saw before, gi line 11line load qy start gi phase 1. That is, as we already targeting the line, which has the staged user feature line load, for which we want to access the qy start intrinsic property for phase 1. And to set it to a specific value, we simply need to use the equal sign, which for Python is used as the assignment symbol, relevant to the plugs command set. In the previous example, you may have noticed that my foundation and the applied line load was being split by a vertical line. In fact, when switching to the so-called green modes, mesh, flow conditions and stage construction, our original geometry might get split into multiple parts. We call this intersection and it happens automatically when moving from blue to green modes. This means that potentially every item may be split into the so-called cat objects. The immediate question is how can we deal with this in Python, as via the GUI that is only a matter of some extra clicks. The first solution would be to follow the same logic as the GUI. Simply create two commands to configure our two split line loads in stage construction. However, that is not really so nice if that needs to be repeated multiple times for all the various split objects. But we can use the fact that line 1, due to the intersection, has now become an iterable object. Using our Python skills, we can write the following for loop. For line in GI line 1, line dot line load dot qy gi phase 1 is assigned to minus 15 if all we want is to change the vertical line load value or in the code below for instance we can use the same logic if we want to change the material for multiple clusters while this time our iterables are the polygons created in this example i will demonstrate how you can apply a final working load on new faces 
created after each consolidation phase present in my model, which are set to minimum excess pore water pressures. We start with a simple for loop all over our phases. We check if our phase is a consolidation set to minimum excess pop water pressure or not. If that condition is met, then we can create a new phase, set it to consolidation and phreatic pore pressure calculation type, and finally loop over the cat objects of the line 1 to activate the line load and set the vertical component to minus 150. Looking at the Plaxis input model, I have added my code in the Python interpreter. I can press Enter to start running the code. While the code is being executed, you can see the new phase is being created only when the specific condition is met for the final consolidation phases. When the process is finished, I can double check and confirm that for those phases, my line loads are activated and set to the intended value. And all that with only a few lines of code.